Hi guys, welcome to my channel Lush Foliage. I hope you guys are fine and are safe. So uh, this is another variety of philodendron. Uh, I will put the name on the screen, the complete name. Now if you remember, I had showed this plant to you last time uh, when the new leaves were coming up. Uh, this was uh, the new root that was coming up. This was the new growth that was coming up and then there was a smaller one. The smaller one has not grown but uh, the others are doing quite well. There is a new leaf that is coming up. This was the new leaf. Uh, it's an extremely easy to grow plant, um, works really well indoor as well as outdoor. But if you're growing it outdoor, ensure that you're not keeping it in direct sunlight. Otherwise, the leaves will tend to get burnt. Most of the varieties of philodendron do not like direct sunlight. They prefer indirect bright light. So this plant is also one of them. They do not like direct sunlight. If you're growing it indoor, you can keep it uh, near a window where there is a good amount of indirect bright light, medium to indirect bright light. Or if you're keeping it outside, do not expose it to direct sunlight. You can keep it anywhere where there is a good amount of either bright or medium indirect light. Now talking about the soil, the soil is same what I use for my all my plants. I will put the link in the description below. The soil has to be loose, porous and well draining and should maintain a very slight moisture but not soggy wet. Also, the pot should have a drain hole because they do not like to be sitting in soggy wet soil for a long time. Otherwise, the roots will get rotted. So there has to be a very slight moisture in the soil. Talking about fertilizers, you can do it during the summer months, which is the active growing period. During winters, they tend to go dormant, so do not add any fertilizers. Watering, when you tend to see the upper layer of the soil, at least 2-3 to three inches of the soil is dry, you can go ahead and do a complete watering until the water starts passing through the drain hole. Now here I have taken a 8 inch pot, so you can go with any pot size. You can even go with a 5 inch pot, but as in when the plant tends to grow or if the plant tends to get root bound, you can do a repotting. Ideally, a repotting would be good if you do it during the summer months or early summer because during summer months, a lot of times the temperatures are very hot. So early summers before it is getting into like, let's say the winters are about to end and very soon the summers are going to come. So that period is little cooler. So that point you can do a repotting. Ideally, avoid doing repotting when the temperatures are very high above 40 degrees, then don't do any repotting. Now this plant will do very well in average humidity. So if you're growing it indoor in your room humidity, it will do quite well. It does not require a humidifier. Even the temperatures, average uh, room temperature would work out really well if you are growing it outside. If the temperatures are uh, below 35 degrees Celsius, it's going to do quite well. But in case if the temperatures are very high, then you'll have to move it indoor. Or if you receive snowfall or if you experience snowfall in your city, then you'll have to grow it indoor. Apart from that, uh, the plant is very easy to care. There is not much issues with mealybugs, but in case if you see any mealybugs, use your organic solution that you have been using. Always do a routine check, turn the leaves and check if there are any white flies or any insects and then treat your plant accordingly. Always remember, treat the plant at an early stage before the infestation tends to increase. And uh, talking about toxic, yes, this is a variety of philodendron. It is toxic, especially even if you touch the plant, you have to wash your hands after you touch the plant. Otherwise, it can irritate the skin. Uh, please keep this plant away from small children and pets because if the leaves are ingested, it can be dangerous. So you have to keep this plant away from their reach. So guys, I hope that this video was helpful to you. If it was, please hit the like button. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing to it. Until then, take care, stay safe and keep planting.